4 o'clock in the morning. We're at the St. Louis airport. It is September 24th. We are flying to Bozeman with a layover in Denver. And as usual, we're flying Southwest. I still have some Southwest points to use up. So we'll keep flying Southwest as long as I have points. We're gate E36 this morning. So we got through security very quickly, except I did get my bag searched. I knew that was gonna happen because I have a coin purse full of quarters for, uh, because we're going to Yellowstone and I know they have squished penny machines. And I used to have it all the time when I used to go to Disney a lot. My, I, my bag would always be searched because the bag of quarters just shows as a big block, big black mass on the x-ray. So. I'm perfectly happy, fine with them being searched. So, and he was quick about it. So yeah, other than that, you know, it's 4 a.m. So as you can see, this airport is pretty dead. We have a three hour layover in Denver. Um, we could have got like a closer layover, like a shorter layover, but I don't risk that anymore because it's nice when you only have a one hour layover, you don't have much time to wait. But then if the first plane is delayed, you're screwed. We've had that happen, so now, perfectly fine sitting at the Denver airport for three hours and not having to stress about missing a second flight. We're still going to be in Bozeman by like, I don't know, I already forgot early enough that we're going to still enjoy the park today. Hopefully, knock on wood, nothing goes wrong. So yeah, this is the new part of the airport that was built after the tornado damage from years ago. So yeah, um, we fly from St. Louis. Not the best airport in the world, but it works. Well, you have a Starbucks. We're in Denver, and this is the longest, like, jetway. Whatever you call the... What do you call it that connects the plane to the... What they call the I'm not sure. This is as long. It's cold. It's cold. But anyway, we're in Denver. The flight was uneventful. Completely full. But uneventful. So now we got a couple hours to kill here at Denver. Alright, so we got off at gate C24. And we have to go to C67. That is how big the Denver... The Denver... The very end. Look at that very end. So yes, the Denver airport is huge. They got McDonald's. So yeah, let's see. They got 20 million restaurant choices. I just get jealous because St. Louis has like three restaurant choices. All like fast food. But here, so many choices. Alright, we're at the Denver airport and so they have a McDonald's. There's a couple sit-down restaurants, but they're all like really expensive and nothing look good. I love breakfast burritos. This McDonald's did not have breakfast burritos. They only, I guess because it's the airport, they only had like six breakfast choices. And um, as you can see, it's like way more expensive than typical St. Louis, but I'm like, we don't have breakfast burritos. They're like, no, no one does. I don't know what he meant by no one because St. Louis does, but whatever. That's the first for me. super super crowded right now so we're gonna go find our luggage so that connecting flight was uneventful everything was on time no issues so overall it's been a really good travel day and I actually when we got off this plane the pilot actually greeted us that was the first I don't think I've ever had a pilot greet us so that was cool I liked it so anyway yeah good trip no complaints Okay. 
past security now we're finding the baggage claim. I have to say, it's been like 15 years since we've been to this airport. It's definitely gotten bigger and it is so nice. So yeah, this is Bozeman. I didn't say that earlier. Very nice. Now I just gotta figure out. Oh, to the left. It's the baggage claim. All right, so the terminal has screens that say where your luggage is at. It was wrong. It happened at Las Vegas. They're telling us three. I hear people talking about two. My luggage has been sitting on two for a while. So luckily, so that's, that's the baggage. 